question is a wave application is hosted in a dedicated vpc that is connected to a company's on premises data center over a side to side vpn connection the application is accessible from the company network only this is a temporary non production application that is used during business hours the workload is generally low with occasional surges the application has an amazon aurora mysql provisioned database cluster on the back end the vpc has an internet gateway and a nat gateway is attached the wave servers are in private subnets in an auto scaling group behind an elastic load balancer the wave servers also upload data to an amazon s3 bucket through the internet a solutions architect needs to reduce operational cost and simplify the architecture which strategy should the solutions architect use and the options are option a review the auto scaling group settings and ensure the scheduled actions are specified to operate the amazon ec2 instances during business hours only use 3 year scheduled reserved instances for the wave server ec2 instances detach the internet gateway and remove the nat gateways from the vpc use an aurora serverless database and set up a vpc endpoint for the s3 bucket option b review the auto scaling group settings and ensure the scheduled actions are specified to operate the amazon ec2 instances during business hours only detach the internet gateway and remove the nat gateways from the vpc use an aurora serverless database and set up a vpc endpoint for the s3 bucket then update network routing and security rules and policies related to the changes option c review the auto scaling group settings and ensure the scheduled actions are specified to operate the amazon ec2 instances during business hours only detach the internet gateway from the vpc the use an, and use an aurora serverless database set up a vpc endpoint for the s3 bucket then update the network routing and security rules and policies related to the changes option d use 3 year scheduled reserved instances for the wave server amazon ec2 instances remove the nat gateways from the vpc and set up a vpc endpoint for the s3 bucket use amazon and the option e is cloudwatch and aws lambda to stop and start the aurora db cluster so it operates during business hours only update the network routing and security rules and policies related to the changes correct answer is option b review the auto scaling group settings and ensure the scheduled actions are specified to operate the amazon ec2 instances during business hours only detach the internet gateway and remove the nat gateways from the vpc use an aurora serverless database and set up a vpc endpoint for the s3 bucket then update the network routing and security rules and policies related to the changes next question is a company is building an image service on the wave that will allows users to upload and search random photos at peak uses up to 10000 users worldwide will upload their images the service will then overlay text on the uploaded images which will then be published on the company website which design should a solution architect implement option a store the uploaded images in amazon elastic file system amazon efs send application log information about each image to amazon cloud watch logs create a fleet of amazon ec2 instances that use cloud watch logs to determine which images need to be processed 
place processed images in another directory in Amazon EFS. Enable Amazon CloudFront and configure the origin to be the one of the EC2 instances in the fleet. Option B. Store the uploaded images in an Amazon S3 bucket and configure an S3 bucket event notification to send a message to Amazon Simple Notification Service Amazon SNS. Create a fleet of Amazon EC2 instances behind an application load balancer ALB to pull messages from Amazon SNS to process the images and place them in Amazon Elastic Files System Amazon EFS. Use Amazon CloudWatch metrics for the SNS images volume to scale out EC2 instances. Enable Amazon CloudFront and configure the origin to be the ALB in front of the EC2 instances. Option C. Store the uploaded image in an Amazon S3 bucket and configure an S3 bucket event notification to send a message to the Amazon Simple Queue service Amazon SOS Queue. Create a fleet of Amazon EC2 instances to pull messages from the SOS queue to process the images and place them in another S3 bucket. Use Amazon CloudWatch metrics for queue depth to scale out EC2 instances. Enable Amazon CloudFront and configure the origin to be S3 bucket that contains the processed images. And option D is Store the uploaded images on a shared Amazon Elastic Block Store Amazon EBS volume mounted to a fleet of Amazon EC2 spot instances. Create an Amazon Dynamo DB table that contains information about each uploaded image and whether it has been processed. Use an Amazon Event Bridge Amazon CloudWatch Events rule to scale out EC2 instances. Enable Amazon CloudFront to configure the origin to reference an elastic load balancer in front of the fleet of EC2 instances. Correct answer is option C. Store the uploaded images in an Amazon S3 bucket and configure an S3 bucket event notification to send a message to the Amazon Simple Queue service Amazon SOS Queue. Create a fleet of Amazon EC2 instances to pull messages from the SOS queue to process the image and place them in another S3 bucket. Use Amazon CloudWatch metrics for queue depth to scale out EC2 instances. Enable Amazon CloudFront and configure the origin to be the S3 bucket that contains the processed images.